Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Renee's stepfather is at it again. Sent me another um, message in uh, my uh, Facebook Messenger. He, he didn't send no video, he just sent a message. So what I don't think he realizes is that when you send a message to somebody on Facebook Messenger, it's saved on my Facebook. It's saved on there for until I get rid of my Facebook. So everything he says and does is on Facebook until I take it off or I delete my Facebook and I'm not deleting my Facebook nor am I deleting my Facebook ministry nor I am going to uh, stop uh, doing these videos just because he hates how I preach. Well I'm trying to get across to people that there are evil there there are people that are doing the will of their father, Satan, the devil, just like the Pharisees did. Jesus called down the mountain and said, You are of your father, the devil, Satan, the devil, who was a liar from the beginning. Jesus said it to the Pharisees and the Sadducees. So Jesus could say it, why can't I say it? You mean it's okay for Jesus to say it, but it's not okay for me to say it? It's not okay for me to preach the way Jesus preached? How about we just stop preaching um, that Jesus said, these things are going to happen in the end days. And the end of days was not 70 A.D. So get that straight. It was not 70 A.D. Otherwise, we would be living in the kingdom of heaven now. Where is the kingdom? It's not here right now because we still have work to do. As long as there is a remnant God has always made a remnant. And the remnant is the believers who still believe, like me. Believers like myself are basically as long as there are people out there like myself In here for uh, what I'm wanting to say. Anyhow, while I, uh, I don't want to be on here too long, 
what I'm wanting to say is that God's wrath on unrighteousness it's coming but it says here in Romans 1 starting with 18 for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all unrighteous un, un excuse me ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness so there are people out there who wants to suppress the truth they want to change it to suit their ways and 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 suppress it change it and suppress it but because there's people like me who preach the truth then I'm hated and I'm called names and I'm being threatened goes on says here in 19 because what may be known of God is manifested in them for God has shown it to them for since the creation of the world his invisible attributes are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse because although they know God they do not glorify him as God nor were thankful but became brutal in their thoughts and their foolish hearts darkened professing to be wise they became fools long story short that is how this man that's coming against me but of course, I don't wrestle against him personally. I'm wrestling against the spirit that is in him. The evil spirit that is, in, that is controlling him. Controlling his heart. Controlling his thoughts. And there is a spirit uh, going across this earth that is controlling people. Making them uh, try to disprove God and disprove Jesus and dis and make people like me look like we're you know stupid. It's like uh, what I was gonna say here in this uh, message he uh, sent me. He's saying, "Here's the deal, Bob. If you have your lawyer write me anything." I'll make sure they get what that full legal report of you being diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic with an IQ of 91. They drop you like a hot potato. Remember that video. I have it recorded. You can preach anything that you just stop mentioning me and my family. And I'll stop replying to your hate speech videos. Is this a hate speech video? Am I saying I hate him? No, I'm saying he hates me. He is a bully. And bullies, they don't like being called out and told to stop. That's the problem. They don't like being told to stop. Stop! Stop! They want to keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on because they want to be right above everybody else. 
Just like the bully that tried to stab me years ago when I was uh, in first grade. Coming home from school. But he was stopped. I you know. Bring it on, John. Bring it on. Because the uh, word says, for what God's word, Jesus Christ said, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to what? Destruction. And there are many who go by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. It says difficult is the way. Difficult, difficult, difficult. It's not easy to be a Christian. It's not easy to be a true believer in Jesus Christ. If you think it's easy, you got it wrong. You're on the wrong road. Broad is the road and, and that leads to destruct, destruction. And basically, it's an easy road. It's like a cakewalk. If you believe you got to have all night, a lot of nice things to be living in the kingdom of heaven, you got it wrong. Jesus never said. Jesus said in Luke 17, Luke 17, Luke 17, the coming of the kingdom. Now when he was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. In other words, you cannot see it or touch it. Nor will they say, see here or see there. For indeed, the kingdom of God is within, within you. The kingdom of God is inside me. It's not a physical place that we can touch or see and this uh, this concept of uh, acting like kings and queens and trying to get everything you can get is also a lie as well Jesus also said so here's the thing this is a gospel this is the gospel of Jesus Christ saying the gospel of Jesus Christ is just not the good news. It's the truth. The gospel is the truth. The problem is there's a lot of people that don't want the truth. They just want Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by and through Him. Jesus died for our sins. He rose again on the third day. And I think that's it. That's, that, it, that's it. That's the gospel. That's good, the good news. Nothing else that Jesus said matters. But G it does matter. Everything that Jesus said matters. Because Jesus said here, uh, take up the cross and follow me. First off, he said, and that's in, uh, where was I? Luke 9, 23. Then he said to them, Oh, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, 
deny himself, deny himself of nice houses and nice cars and nice clothes and nice uh, whatever. Take up your cross, or his cross, daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and is himself destroyed or lost? Whoever is ashamed of me and my words, what ashamed of me and my words of him, the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and he and, me, and in his fathers and of the holy angels. In other words, when you go to judgment, Jesus will be ashamed of you who is ashamed of him and his words. Also, in uh, Matthew 10, Jesus said, Whoever, say so I'll go up here to uh, Matthew 10 and 32, Whoever makes me known in front of men, I will make known of my Father in heaven. But whoever does not make me known in front of men, and acts as he does not know me, I will not make known to my Father in heaven. Do not think I come to bring peace on earth. So, okay, where's the good news? You know, he didn't come to bring good news. He came to what? I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. He came to bring a sword, division between the goats and the sheep. I come to turn a man against his father. I come to turn a daughter against her mother. I come to turn a daughter-in-law against her, her mother-in-law. A man will be hated by his own family. And I'm hated by the man that claims to be Renee's stepfather because I preach Jesus Christ. I preach that Jesus did not come to just bring good news. He came to bring a sword, a division, to divide the goats from the sheep. He came to bring truth. He came to bring light and salt. And Jesus said, also said in Luke 18, again, starting with verse 6, that then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust ju judge said, and God shall not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him through the Though the bears long with them, he tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, he will. Uh, excuse me. When the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on earth? On the earth. There uh, was a story about an unjust judge. There are un unjust judges out there, even today, that are not believers in God. And they'll turn, they'll say one thing, and they turn around and say something else. But Jesus, he's uh, the just judge, and 
he will will he find faith on earth? Probably not. So again, here's a I uh, say done word here. What uh, in the red is what uh, Renee's stepfather said. You know, they won't drop me because, in fact, I am, it's called prepaid legal service. They won't drop me. I pay $17 a month. I've been paying $17 a month since uh, 2004 when I first joined. All they care about is what other people are doing wrong to me. And this man is constantly doing wrong to me. Again, I will say this, and I will say it continually saying it, until the day the Lord comes back, and I see Him coming in His glory in the clouds, that I had a near-death experience, I died. I know I was no longer in this realm of existence. I was somewhere else, standing in line, waiting to go into the light. The bright light that was in front of me. I felt uh, I was like in line, that there was somebody in front of me, and then someone came up behind me. And then someone had came around, the person in front of me, and came onto my left side, wrapped her arm around me, and said in the most serene, calm, serene, loving voice that you could ever hear, it's not your time. Go back, your chosen one. I woke up coughing and gagging and coughing up food that was in my lungs. And in Matthew twenty four fourteen, the Bible says, God's word says, For many are called, but few are chosen. But see, this, this, this man would rather have you to believe in his lies, just, just like the Satan the devil wants you to believe in his lies, that, uh, you know, and some other people as well want you to believe that, oh, you know, going to heaven can be explained because it's just a, halluc a hallucination, chemicals in your brain. I mean, come on now, you know. So that means then the thousands of people that has died and come back to say, here's what heaven is like. They were wrong. That they just had a hallucination. So then we all hallucinated this almost the same thing. So and then we must all be smoking the same kind of wacky weed or some taking this, some kind of drug that's making us uh, believe in heaven. No, we believe in the Word of God. That's, that is the problem. We believe in the Word of God. The problem is, well, I mean it's a problem. It's not a problem for us. It's not a problem for me. It's a problem for people that do not want to believe. It's a problem for Satan the devil because he knows his time is short and he's trying to take as many believers with him yeah what I mean is you know there are people that believed and now they don't believe so he's taking all these believers or once they were believers with him because he's trying to change their uh, okay let's see what he said here Oh, he just went. 
Just leave me alone, he says. Uh, no, he's going on. Uh, I only res response as you slander me and me family. Don't want me to respond. Don't talk about us. You can preach what you want, but you don't have slander and threaten us. Go talk bad about someone else. You don't even have our new address to send anything to new address so what did they move try going without talking about us and watch me not respond anyhow I'm just saying, you know, I'm being bullied, and I want him to stop bullying me. That's all I'm saying. And all this started, all this started was several years ago uh, when I made a video and posted it to YouTube asking for help. And he thought that I was trying to uh get money from him i was not uh asking him directly to help me but in his uh his mindset he had thought i was asking <coughs> asking him to help uh for money to help uh fix uh help take fix uh, my mobile home and his mindset that if you can't do it yourself then you don't need it now if that's slander then he should be the one keeping his mouth shut because in reality he's slandering himself I'm just trying to tell people hey here's these people that's uh saying all this evil stuff and doing all this evil stuff to me and and people that's trying to disprove uh the words of jesus christ and trying to disprove uh the words of god uh, so, trying to I was outside. Or was I outside? Oh, well, anyhow, I'm getting down on my time here. I don't want to go too much longer. But it was several years ago. There was, uh, like two years ago, there was one here I said, I uh, need help to weatherize. Roof leaking again on this rainy day. There's one where I was outside working on my van talking about Jesus and how I and how he had to lift his voice to be heard. Um I mean, there's a lot, of, if you go back all through my videos to the beginning, you will see where I've asked for help, and since I've asked for help, I've got nothing but hell. God bless you. Have a blessed day.